Hey there, happy Thursday. Thanks for joining me tonight for a craft night with friends. My name is Alyssa Thomas from Penguin and Fish where we make cute embroidery kits for beginners. And I'm here every weeknight, Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. It's a time that we can relax and craft together. So, all right, we are working on the Raven embroidery. Uh, we are well on our way. Uh, we'll work on the pumpkin tonight uh, for sure. I'm hoping to get that done and then we can start up the vine again. So thanks again for joining. Let's get going. Okay. All right, so here we are tonight. Uh, we have uh, our birdie done and we got his foot in last night too and finished this vine on this side so tonight uh, I want to start off with the pumpkin um, we'll just kind of go till we run out of all of our floss again like for the for this so like if we have extra of the three strands of floss after the pumpkin will like go up the vine a little bit but then I do want to come back in and do all this cross hatching again so uh, that is the plan all right and we already have I'm gonna move this guy he can live over here now there we go actually I might just like have him on the side I do I mean it's fun to have him on the embroidery but sometimes I just like having it down on the side and I just throw my my um, needle at it so all right uh, start with this little stitch up here. And then, how does this part go? Kind of goes a little way in, in there. All right. The vine kind of comes up through this part too, but I'm going to focus on the pumpkin first. Oh, Sylvia says it look, it's looking good. Yeah, I think once we got that the bird all the way in there, that, that felt good. Felt like we got a lot done then. Ooh, now here's another one of those points that um, I could just get this, this leaf done right away too because we're doing it all the same color. So I can just kind of, I don't have to stick to whatever motif I'm currently in. I can... Um, veer off a little bit so I think maybe we'll do that with this leaf so I think yeah let's let's just start right now so I'm gonna go around the outside of this leaf and I think I'll actually come back in the middle then get these next few stitches and I think by then I might be close to um, being done with the floss and then we can start on that um, start on the the leaf that other part of the leaf and come back around and then get the rest of this and i think this is it for um my first skein of floss so uh this kit comes with four skeins of the black just in case um just in case you need that much for for this but I think really we'll get get it done in two. Arlene says I love these deviations just we're gonna just veer off the edge a little bit it's kind of fun we get like this cute little shape going oh no uh Kathy says I've got the pdf of the raven this pattern and uh then your printer broke. Ugh. I have seen some people like if you have a a monitor or like you, you know like a computer monitor or or like an iPad tracing it right from there. I think that might be a little bit difficult. Uh, but potentially doable. All right, I'm going to come down the middle here. It 
it is nice having the physical pattern though around so like yeah being able to print out the pdf i always like doing that actually i was thinking about that the other day i got two patterns from etsy a sweater pattern so the sweater project the idea of knitting a sweater is getting higher up on my list and then i got that um pattern that i don't know if anyone else has seen this going around tiktok uh but it's one of those like 90s bead dinosaurs or like alligators where you have beads and then you like weave the thread through and you make these little like sculptures uh, which i totally used to make uh but instead it's crocheted oh, wait is it knit or crocheted i think it's crocheted um so it's all these like big rings that you crochet and then uh, uh, you're basically making a big version of one of these these alligators i just thought it was so cute so i got that that pattern too and, and I was thinking the other day like oh, I need to really print these off otherwise they're just gonna like disappear in the ether of my computer because yeah it's nice having having those printouts for sure I wonder if I have enough floss to get up to the top here that'd be nice otherwise I'm gonna have to like jump around all weird we're gonna give it a go it's gonna suck though if I have like one stitch up there kind of stitching myself into a corner here but oh well The lines and the leaves add so much to it. Like this one doesn't have the lines yet compared to like these guys. I just think they look so cool. Oh, we're gonna be plenty fine, I think, with this. Three more stitches. I think I have about just that amount of thread. Yeah, uh, Arlene says, so much more practical when um, working with one color to be able to go in more than one direction. Agreed. Barbara's asking, Hi, do you have any things in a bear, rabbit, uh, squirrel, and deer? We do have a squirrel that's holding um, a lilac branch. Uh, that's our lilac pattern, but it has a big squirrel on it. We have a fox pattern that looks like a deer, <laughs> kind of. Um, rabbit. We do have a rabbit. Um, it's our bunny embroidery kit. I think we also have a PDF of that. I don't have a bear quite yet. Um, and actually, oh, do we did we do a deer for a holiday thing once? Oh, I don't think we. Maybe I just started sketching one. I don't think I have a deer. So. Uh, Yes to the squirrel and rabbit. Um, no to the bear and deer. But I like both those things. I should draw some of those. Um, okay, more floss. So I do have I do have a little bit left from the last skein, but this is what we've been pulling for our single strands. Um, so I do need to start a another um, skein here. So let's just get these guys off and. Okay, so I'm gonna get another like 24 inches or so. I've been using my my tray still. My the this is the kit uh, box. I've been using that as my project tray. That's been working nicely still. Okay, three strands here. One, two. All right, that's trans. 
one's ready for later. What should we do with this guy when we're done? I know we talked about that a little bit last night. Like a spooky little raven thing. Like I almost want to make this like Halloween decor. Like I almost want to make like a crocheted, like we could make like an orange crocheted outside or something. Like, oh, I think I have that here still. Oh, it's kind of attached to, hold on. Let's just grab that quick. <laughs> I have a bit of a mess here, but uh, a bunch of things connected, but like, uh, like this, like we could do a crocheted um, edging or a crocheted like outer hoop for this, which would be kind of cool. Did I not thread this? No. Just start putting it together here. That'd be kind of pretty. I think I have a pretty orange wool that has like some other flecks of color in. That would make it look kind of like rustic and, and cute. I don't really have any holiday decor. So that might be a fun, fun thing to do. Just have a beautiful wall art. I super duper like having useful things though. So like, I almost just want to turn it into a zipper pouch just cause I think I'll use it more. I don't know. Arlene says Halloween is my thought as well. Yeah, it would just be like a, I do think it'd be a pretty decor piece. All right, it's nice that I didn't have to come back and do that other half of the leaf. We were able to squeeze in all those stitches. Ooh, a fabric basket for trick-or-treat candy. Hmm. I do have, um, what do you even call it? Um, like cording? I do have some cording um, where, I've been wanting to make like one of those those fabric bowls and I have one oh I don't have it nearby anymore. Yeah, I don't have one near um Well, here's an example though. This is this isn't exactly what I'm talking about, but it's still like um isn't this like basket like the prettiest thing ever? Uh but you know, where you could get cord and you wrap fabric around it. It, it would be bigger than this, right? And then you then you kind of go up during the up the side a little bit like I've been wanting to do one of those because I have some of that cording left and I just want to use it up um, that with like this kind of applique to the front is that that kind of what you're thinking like because that would be kind of cool all right this is kind of a weird spot to be in I think I'm going to just go start stitching I think I'm just gonna go upward at this point. And then when I come back down, I'll like pick up some of those stitches. I don't know. This is, so I didn't really think about getting in and out. What I really should have done is not finish these, started here at those couple stitches. I should have started back up here, came down, then picked up those couple stitches, and then, then would be in a better spot. Although then I would have been in a weird spot here too. So I don't know. Doesn't matter, let's just, wherever a stitch is needed, let's just do it. I wonder if I did do a fabric bowl Oh, you know, I can't, that's why I didn't do it. Cause I don't have a, I don't have a, um, um, I don't have a machine that does a zigzag stitch right now. And that's what I, that's what I needed to do that. That's why I put that away.
Oh, Robin, did you email uh, Jenna back at info at? We might be able to. Um, I might be able to get one more uh, together for you. I think I have one more printout. Um, but yeah, if it if it still isn't working, then. Um, or yeah, it won't work tonight if, if, if it's not there anymore. I'll talk to Jenna tomorrow, though. Uh, and we'll see if we get an invoice thing together. Um, let's go this direction. Uh, Sylvia saying I'm making a jelly roll rug that would easily turn into a bowl. So is that like where you have strips and you wrap it around other things? Or wrap it around like a, um, what did I just call it? That like, not a, not a binding thing, but like, what are those edging things that you put on like couches and stuff? I just and I just said it before to like a cotton little like tube. Do you wrap it around um, that? I've done one of that with scraps before. I know I have tons of scraps like this. It'd be nice to be able to use up some of that with that. Or I could actually it could be like a braided rug almost where you add fabric and then come up with the braid. Then it wouldn't have like an interior. Maybe I'll try something like that. Or, or yeah, cording. Gina, that's that's what I was totally thinking of. Thanks. Um, but maybe I can just put like a bunch of strips of cloth because I have tons of strips, and then like wrap wrap other bits around that. I think I've seen that, like where people just wrap fabric around like a other fabric, and then like every once in a while you like grab like you you do like your second row and then you're like grabbing um, with a crochet hook like underneath it every couple stitches maybe I should try something like that that would use up a bunch of my excess scraps from cutting fabric and um, And it would be kind of neat to like applique this to it afterwards. That would be kind of a cool idea, I think. All right, I'm gonna just jump over here. Normally I would not do that, but since we're gonna do all this hash mark stuff, um, that's gonna cover up like my, my little jump over there. So we're just gonna do that. Oh, interesting. So two, two and a half, Sylvia's saying two and a half strips of cloth um, matches with a two and a half uh, of batting. So are you like twisting it around the batting? I like this idea of the bowl. I, I must have saved a tutorial on this where you have like a core um, that's just more fabric and then your like other fabric, you wrap around it and then every once in a while you get like the row underneath and that's what kind of holds it together. That'd be kind of nice because then it wouldn't be, it wouldn't even be really a, a sewing project. It'd be, it'd be almost like a crochet project. Like I'd have the crochet hook there and have to hook one every once in a while. 
I might have to like putz around with that a little bit. To watch a tutorial on that again. Don't know if I'll have enough to get all the way to the top, but I'm hoping so. Then actually, if we could get to the top and then like come down this way a little bit, that'd be nice because then I can just come here, get a f like the little bloop in, and then like get the rest at the bottom. We will end up far away from this. I should have maybe started on this side so that I'd end up over here. Um, because then I can go right into these vines without being like really far away. If I have extra thread. So see, maybe I can end up here and that's not that far away. This pumpkin is coming along nicely. Yeah, so we'll do one more of our three strands, and then that'll get the pumpkin done, I think, and a little bit of this vine. Uh, and then when that thread runs out, then I'll start doing this um, cross hatching again. Finger caught, caught it and pulled out all the floss. All right, I'm just gonna jump over here again. We'll see how far we can get down on this line and then yeah we'll loop from the bottom and then come back and then we'll end up like right here and then I, I can maybe just jump over to that vine probably go in the backs of some stitches just so it's not quite so big on the back Ooh, Sylvia says I've crocheted a basket with strips of an old sheet. Yeah, I mean, I could actually just literally crochet it, too. That'd be a good idea. I'm going to have to think about that. I'm not actually, now that I think about it, I'm trying to finish up some projects, so I'm not actually wild about the idea of starting starting something new. Although it would be really cute. Like it could be, like if I could make it really tall, it would be like a really cute like trick-or-treat box, wouldn't it? Um, that I could just have around later if I wanted to store stuff in. Trick-or-treat um, like bag. All right, I think this is gonna be my last stitch with that thread. We're in just the right position though, because I can start here, get this little bloop, bloop up there, and then jump over to there, and then we can keep going. Ooh, thanks for the follows, everyone. All right, and we have that other half of that section that we cut earlier. All right, so I think I'm gonna weave in right here. Excited to do the hash marks, or the um, cross hatch. <laughs> so used to saying hashtags that I can't say cross hatch. Arlene says after the garden, this seems like it's flying along. Exactly. 
Exactly. I, and I try and do that. I try not to have, like, two super duper hefty projects back to back. Um, like last month's embroidery of the month, that was um, definitely a heftier uh, embroidery. A lot more going on. And, and yeah, just having this one color uh, really super speeds it along for sure. Three more stitches here. Uh, yeah, I'm really liking this all one color. I need to do more one color things like this, I think. It's fun. I think when we do the cross hatching, maybe we even start with that leaf there. The goal is to finish this tomorrow still. I think we're on the right path to timing wise for that. get some of the vine done here too although this is going to get sucked up real quick by um, these lazy daisies right at the beginning there all right just like that and now i'm going to just like weave in the backs of these stitches to get right there should be too hard just going to go through his foot I think just so I don't have like a two inch leap there I'm still leaping I'm just going through the backs of stitches to get there there we go lots of floss left so oh this actually comes all the way down here because I didn't need to go quite as far over as I thought Jumps over the side here. Oh, cool. Linda says, um, I like this pattern so much that I think I will get another one and use the colors you have on the sticker. That would be fun. That's that's um, uh, probably closer to how I was originally going to color this. And I'm like, you know what? This would be a good one to do all one color. It's got that like classic, like, Halloween look to it then too and um, so then I then I changed it to this and I, and I really I'm really happy with it but yeah a color one would be so fun all right let's get these guys here I might not even have enough floss for all three of them does he use it up? One. I think we'll just get it and maybe get a couple more um, back stitches. Clean that up. 
a little. There we go. Yep, that used up a lot. It's cute though, just a little burst of a plume there. Oh, thanks, uh, Gold Star Meals. Uh, Mary Elle's saying, I was thinking about um, starting to learn tatting. Uh, what do you think is the best type of floss to begin with? Um, so, the floss that that I think is probably the best. Like if you're if you're going out to buy something, I think I have some nearby. Hold on. Um, is oh I don't have the labeling. Oh yeah I do. Hold on. Is this uh, Lisbeth thread? Um, don't get size 80 though. I would get like size 10. Uh, that's much bigger and fatter. Um, I got this for a different project, so I needed it like really little um, and 80. So like the, the 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 smaller the number, the fatter the thread. The bigger the number, the thinner the thread. Uh, but this Lisbeth is um, made for tatting. Uh, I think you can get it at, it's like Handy Hands. Let's see, is there a website on here? Yeah. If you just do a search for Lisbeth and Handy Hands, uh, that will get you to to some of it. Um, they do sell at like a Joanne sort of thing. They do sell like this crochet thread. Uh, that works too, but, but this is actually, this slides much nicer. This is going to be much um, nicer to work with compared to uh, just that crochet thread from, from Joanne. So I would recommend, uh, again, the Lisbeth thread um, from Handy Hands and they have so many like gorgeous gorgeous colors like beautiful beautiful colors I would suggest starting with a variegated floss or variegated thread that's where the color changes throughout because it's way easier in tatting uh, when you're just learning uh, because you can see if you flipped your double stitch um, correctly or not because the color will like change uh, because it's variegated so like um, you'll flip the knot and then you'll you'll see you'll see that change happen uh, so that that makes variegated thread nice for for tatting um, you might not know what that means yet if you haven't started like it like flipping the stitch but um, it's much for more visible from uh, with a with variegated floss and that that handy hands that Lisbeth thread um is so like lusciously gorgeous with um with the variegated it's so so pretty i might have some on a let's get my tatting bag out here my mom got a bunch of it and i i, I borrowed some and i think i might have some on some bobbins here yet oh yeah so here's <laughs> here's a super fancy bobbin but like here's some of that lisbeth uh it, with the variegated like look how pretty those purples and pinks are in this particular variegated this again is smaller thread I would go with the t size 10 uh, oh yeah and and says that you she got some on on Amazon so yeah so you can find it there too but it's so beautiful I think that's all I have on hanging out on any of my bobbins or not not bobbins my uh shuttles but yeah so a variegated Lisbeth size 10 is what I would recommend. And Sparrow Spite here on TikTok uh, sells kits and stuff in it, and that's what they use too is the um, variegated Lisbeth, I believe probably size 10 as well. But if you just wanted, if you have like a shuttle and stuff already, then um, we have the shuttles on our site, but not not the Lisbeth. I should look into that. That'd be a really pretty, like get some variegated thread to carry. Um, okay, I'm out of thread. So let's get, let's do the cross hatching. So I'm gonna grab, I already have this cut. Let's get one more bit out of here. 
Zoop. Man, now I want to do some tatting. <laughs> I want to tat something again. I, I'm still working through that book of snowflakes. That's been harder... I guess, I mean, a little less enjoyable than I wanted that to be, though. I got that book of um, 48 or whatever tatted snowflakes. I think, how many do I have done? Two, four. I have five, I have six done, but that's actually really five because one is like their test one. So I have five out of the 48 done. And I don't know. I'm just not enjoying doing all of them. But I, I'm, I'm going to still go through it, though, I think. But I've... I, um, maybe it's because I'm, I'm not liking the yarn that I, or the thread I'm using. Like, I should start over with, like, size 10 Lisbeth, really. I'm using that crochet thread, and it's just not as enjoyable to work with. But I don't want to start over either. Except for now that I talk about it, I kind of do want to start over. Eh, I don't know. I have to, I haven't done it in a little while because I have to look up how to do, um, oh, I kind of did this weird. I should have wove into the bottom. Actually, I'm going to weave back up to the top here. Oh, thanks, Jackie. Jackie said, got my order today. It only took two days. Nicely packed. I'm so excited. I'm going to take it with me when I go out of town this weekend to work on. Uh, thank you for quick service and great products. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. We will have some more orders going out tomorrow. So if you didn't get yours yet and don't have tracking, um, it will, they're about ready. They'll go out tomorrow. All right, so I'm doing this one side, and then I'm going to come back the other way. Oh, yeah, and if you, uh, Marielle, if you do have any trouble, <laughs> feel free to come back, uh, and we can go through, through um, some of the tatting basics, because now I want to tat again after talking about it. And... Um, it's one of those things that I, I feel like is like a little tricky at the beginning. Very tricky, actually. Like it took me, like I, had a, I tried to do it like 10 years ago and just like couldn't quite get the hang of it and then like revisited it now and, and now I, now I kind of got it. Uh, but yeah, there's just a couple techniques that once you get them, then, then you got it. But until you get them, it's like, what the heck is even happening here? Yeah, I should go get buy some of that pretty Lisbeth too. I've just been borrowing my mom's when I visit her. Stealing. I've been putting it on some of my shuttles and running away. All right. Pretty leaf. Okay, let's get um, these lines. I guess I'll just go like section by section. Actually, I'm going to do the bottom one here and then come back up. Try and get like top to bottom. And we're going to be out of thread soon again, too. I just like how this cross-hatching adds a little bit more depth and texture and, like, shaping to these objects a little bit. I think it's, it's pretty. Although, I'm just looking at it. Uh, it's kind of nice without it in the pumpkin, too, because it, it makes the um, bird kind of darker and the pumpkin lighter. Gosh, I almost kind of want to just keep it like that. But we're going we're gonna to add them. We're going to go and add the hash marks in. Uh, Crosshatch. 
<coughs> All right. So I'm just trying to get, get in both directions as I go. I'm just going to, kind of how I did the bird, just start at the top and kind of work my way down. Bobbing around with it. This is actually getting a little underneath. I think we'll get this little guy and work our way back up. Like so. If you get the Lisbeth thread directly from Lisbeth or Handy Hands, um, whatever that the site is, <coughs> they'll send you like a catalog with all the colors, and that's really helpful to look at to see all the colors. Ooh, I'm going to grab some water real quick here. We're having a big weather shift here again, and I don't think allergies and all that is very happy right now. <laughs> Cassie's the same. <laughs> Yeah, it's annoying. Like I'll, I'll just like, all of a sudden like have a, like dry like a dry socket in my throat. Ugh, the weather is shifting. Oh, it's the first day of fall today, isn't it? Um, weather is shifting, and it's gonna like get another ten degrees cooler here today or this evening, and I think we're gonna have cold rain. Uh, tomorrow. <laughs> All right, I thought we'd run out of thread by here, but we got a little bit left, so let's just, I don't know, let's just pick a line and start stitching. I want to kind of end up, oops, shoot. Of course, I lose my thread. But I want to end up near the edge so I can weave in the end. I don't know why I jumped way back up there. Oh, Cassie says, I'm so excited for the fall. I mean, it does feel nice, That's that's for sure. We went for a walk the other night and it was started to have that crispness in the air and I even had to wear a little bit of a coat 
It was still just my, like, raincoat. <laughs> so just barely, like, a little windbreaker layer, but it was nice. All right, how much thread do I really have left? Uh, all right, I'm going to go here. And then um, this little short one to get back to the edge. Then we'll weave in that end. And I have one more of... Um, of these single strands all ready to go so we'll see how right that gets us on this cross hashing and that's probably where we'll end it tonight after that wow so this is this is gonna take like exactly the like week to do I think I think we're gonna be working right up to the end tomorrow on this oh the problem with the tatting thread is that it that you live in Brazil and um, won't find that specific brand yeah that's a good good point um, I mean they might ship there I don't know uh, really any cotton thread so yeah like there's there's this stuff too this is that crochet thread so really anything uh, Anything that is smooth, like you can't have like yarn with like a bunch of little extra bobbles and stuff in it. Or, um, I mean, I've done it with embroidery floss before, but all those strands kind of can come apart, which makes it slightly more difficult. Um, but it's definitely doable with other thread, but that Elizabeth is, is just really nice because it's just glides and it's shiny and smooth and works really well. I don't think you want anything stretchy with like zero stretch in um, and uh, just like all, all the same throughout. Like, like I said, you don't want anything that has like little bumps or, or anything in it that will make it like impossible to... Um, pull the thread through for some of the tatting stuff like impossible to like make a ring and and all that but you can definitely try on kind of like any other stuff you could technically probably even use like a fat sewing thread but that's gonna be difficult um, to work that small. Ooh, my pleasure, Elizabeth. Elizabeth says, thank you for teaching us. <laughs> but you know, usually don't have problems searching for Iowa. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Autocorrect. What was it autocorrecting? But I usually don't have problems searching for. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> for like yarn or something. I don't know. I don't know why that would switch to Iowa. That's funny though. All those problems searching for Iowa. <laughs> Oop. Getting there with this bit. Hoping this thread gets me through the rest of these, uh, the rest of the pumpkin here, but I'm not sure it will. I might have like a couple, couple uh, threads left over to do. All right, but here I can just kind of jump on over right away. Oh man, now I want to buy all the pretty thread and 
and uh, tat again. Okay, I have been in the process of finishing projects, though. I, I did get, <clears throat> uh, the past few days, I did get all my uh, dishcloth knit, and that's what I was practicing, the, like, not looking at what I was knitting. So that was my, like, blind knitting practice, basically. Like, trying to, you know, how people can just, like, <clears throat> crochet and knit and not look at their work. Like, I wanted to practice that. Um, so dishcloths, we, we ran out of dishcloths. They just all got like tore up. Uh, so I'm like, okay, I can do that. And so, and it's just been a, like a half of a project just kind of sitting around uh, this cone of yarn that I was doing these, going to do these washcloths with. So that's done. So that's like a finished, a real life finished project. <laughs> and I want to finish those doilies, um, that I'm making out of leftover floss. Um, and those are getting there. And then I have that knit snake that I'm making still. So I kind of want to get through that, but then I got those other projects I want. I want to do, um, that sweater and that funny nineties alligator crochet project. Uh, but I think after I get some of these other projects done, I'll feel like, um, tatting again more. Anyway, just because those other projects will be <laughs> further along and that'll like clear up the like mental docket, I guess. Oh, thanks puppy penguin. All right, last bits. I'm just gonna jump right over here. Totally gonna have enough. Yay! Oop, that one kinda got funny, but oh well. One more. All right, looks good. That one I goofed up a little bit here, but. We're gonna, we're gonna let it be. All right, so I'm gonna weave this in and I think that'll be that for tonight. Maybe I'll prep prep a little bit of thread like how we did the last few nights. Like we've always, we've always ended like about, about now with a few minutes left in our hour. Uh, so we've been prepping, we've been getting the thread started and, and, um, you know, getting ready for the next section. And that's actually been speeding things along, I think, really. So let's let's do that. Cut a new thread. Uh, so tomorrow will be this whole area here, and we will be done. Ooh, thanks for the follow, you guys. I appreciate it a ton. Oh, Arlene says, no, 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 you shouldn't have thought about leaving the cross stitches out of the, out of the pumpkin. Yeah, it does look pretty nice. I, I do like it with them in too. Now that I look at it again, like from, like from far away, like I'm looking in, in the monitor. Uh, sometimes it's, it's nice to like look far away at your work and then like go back into it. But like looking far away, yeah, it still feels like it's got, it's, it just gave it some volume. Um, and this still feels lighter compared to, to the bird, I think still. the raven all right let's get these guys together get our next area started and we'll be good to go for tomorrow so this is um basically hour four that we've put into this so this is um tomorrow will be hour five we started on Monday, um, so about exactly five hours, I'm thinking, which is what Jenna said. She she stitched up our sample, and she said it took about five hours. All right, so I kind of want to.
I just jump in and let's let's get these French knots that are hanging out here. And uh, then tomorrow we'll start with with um, the big. Just got too excited about these chain stitches, but we'll we'll start with these um, big lazy daisies tomorrow. This guy over here. Then I'll come up like where I would start a lazy daisy. Ugh, we're gonna use a lot of thread on this yet though, because this uh those lazy daisies, those big ones just eat up the floss. So there we go. Let's get our needle miner back on here. You can live on this side now. Ooh, can't quite reach. Get back here. Oops, I think I put it upside down. There we go. Now you on there. We'll just let our guy sit there for the night. And he's looking so cute. So tonight we did this whole pumpkin area, uh, including, you know, the leaf and a little bit there. Um, but yeah, that's that's adding a lot. Yeah, we, we only had this much done um, yesterday. So neat. Oh, it's looking really nice. Okay, you guys, so here we are so far. Ugh, I just love this piece. It is coming along so nicely. Um, and yeah, so again, this is our embroidery of the month for this month. Uh, that means you can get it if you subscribe to the embroidery month, you can get it cheaper. Uh, and during the month, uh, we'll still have this kit afterwards. It will be on the new fabric, though, now uh, for next month. Um, and it, it comes with our cute little sticker yet, uh, if you get it during the month, um, for the embroidery of the month. So thanks again for everyone who got this, uh, or the PDF or the fabric only. And, uh, yeah. And we're our sales still going on 40% off all embroidery kits, except for our embroidery of the month here. But like all of our other kits right now are 40% off. We are clearing them all out. Um, so we can switch over the fabric in them. Uh, to our new our new fabric so thanks again for all your orders on that as well oh and it, of course it's our special uh if you're watching live if you are watching live now um or like another 15 minutes or so and you order something from the shop 20 dollars or more i will throw in a free mystery gift for you uh, you don't need to um, add it to your cart or anything uh, i'll just check the timestamp on the order and throw one in for you so thanks again, everyone. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. We'll finish this guy up. All right, thanks again. See you tomorrow.